Hello everyone, it's me again. <laughs> Are you getting sick of me? Um, it's Nicole Slater, 30 Days of 30 Paintings, and today is number 15. And number 15, so I got here this morning and I've been just catching up on paperwork and things that I needed to do that I've been putting off a little bit. And uh, 15, so 15, I'm thinking today I'm on this animal kick lately. I did some elephants yesterday. Loved doing that. That was so much fun. Um, I don't know. I might, I don't know, something to do with maybe animals again. I don't know. Um, I love goats. It would be kind of fun to do goats. You know, they're always on like a top of a barn or on top of a house or I've even seen them in trees before. So maybe something to do with goats. And if I don't do that, who knows? Um, stay tuned and we'll find out in a minute after I get settled in and think about what I want to do. Okay, bye. Be super realistic as far as the overall um, painting goes, but the expression of what I want it to feel like. And that's, if I can achieve that, I'm, I'm really happy at the end of the painting. So, um, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to start adding some what I would say feeling of maybe some trees or some shrubbery and my experience in the past I don't know if you haven't been here before we I talked a little bit about what I noticed is with the with the idea of painting daily and having a painting done right away like I'm doing every day um, it's harder to layer the paint as opposed to keeping it in certain areas. So in other words, when I layer the paint on top of each other and I'm not letting it dry in between, it gets a little muddy and I'm trying to avoid that today. And, and, and yesterday too, I avoided that, so that was good. So right now I'm just kind of establishing where I want kind of some greenery and I don't know, this is how I'm seeing it right now, so. Um, What I just did is I had some of that yellow, lemon yellow, and I added it to my khaki. Now I took some of the, the uh, Prussian blue and some yellow just to get a little more of that true, I call it Kelly green or grass green. And again, I'm just kind of putting it in here. And I have to remember though, that with these goats that I'm envisioning I don't want them to turn green. I can wipe some of this out. That's not a problem. But again, I'm just I'm just trying to get the the feeling that I want in here. And then I will come back in later and add more. But I just want to establish a little bit of the feeling that I want. I, mean, I don't know why I'm thinking about maybe a trail here. So maybe a clay clay kind of almost like maybe they've worn out a a little bit of a path down here. Okay. I'm happy with this. So this is a good overall feeling to me. Um, and now I will start applying the goats. And I think that I'll probably put some way out here in the horizon and then one or two up in this fore foreground. And then, um, so in the background I'll have a few and then quite a few, a little, just the essence of them and then in here I'll have okay so I'm super excited about my goats I thought I would never say that um, I finished my 15th day here of the 30 paintings in 30 days and these are my goats I don't know if you can see that I will have this up on my blog and on my website it's available for $50 and um, yeah, so happy about that and looking forward to number 16 and you know what I didn't realize is that I am halfway through so that's really cool takeaways for today would be to um, again go with your heart um, I, I, I just knew I had to do goats today and I don't know why but I did and I, I love how it turned out and I don't know if I would have done as well on another day doing them so this is great um, I learned again that um, when I apply my thick paint that I need to be a little careful about um, mixing it in with the background color while it's still wet. 
Um, I mean, technically I didn't really, there's not a lot of takeaways except for just, like I said, um, not everything has to be perfect. I put in the gestural feeling of goats. I didn't necessarily paint every single goat perfectly and I, I know that. Um, but I like how that looks. I like the expressionistic side of it. And I just learned more about me and my painting and this whole journey and what it's really about is to, you know, just have fun. So anyway, happy you're here. And I look forward to many more, 15 to be exact. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.